Hello guys and welcome to another video by Get Set Python. Last time we saw how to log in to Twitter account using Python. Link to that video is provided in the description below. Continuing from that video, today we'll see how to tweet using Python. So, without any further delay, let's jump right into it. We will be adding one more additional module into our script. And that is time module. These websites look closely for any activities performed by bots and prevent too many activities in such a short interval of time. So, to maintain a time gap between them, we'll use sleep function and it will pause the things for the time provided. So, sleep 3 will pause the things for 3 seconds. And this would be just enough for us. So I am adding sleep3 after every request I made in this script. After that, we have to send our tweet in the tweet box. So we will locate the tweet box and send our tweet there. Well, this is the tweet box where we have to send our tweet. But first of all, we will take tweet from the user using input function. So, message is equal to input enter your tweet. Then we have to locate that tweet box. So, we will inspect it and Look for some CSS selector or ID or class name. So I'm inspecting it. Well, we can see that it has an ID, and so we will use find element by ID function to locate this box. So, first of all, copy this ID and in text box is equal to driver dot find element by id function paste that id and now send the message to it using send keys function now all that is left is to click that tweet button so we will inspect it well, we can see that it has the classes same as that in the login button and all of them are very common. So we will use the CSS selector to locate it. So copy the class name and paste it in the arguments of find element by CSS selector function. Now, to make it a CSS selector, append the word button ahead of it and replace every space with a dot. So I'm replacing each space with a dot and that's your CSS selector. Now to click this button, write tweet button dot click function. And this finishes up our coding part. Now let's see how it works. So I'm just running the script, entering my email ID and password. You can see how getpass maintains my privacy by not displaying password on screen. And then I am entering the text to be tweeted. Now sit back, relax and watch Selenium do the stuff for you. So my login credentials are entered automatically and you can see that there was a short time lag between the two inputs due to sleep function we used earlier. So here I am logged into my Twitter account and here is the tweet that we automated. So 
we have automated our tweet script successfully. Well, one thing I missed was the sleep function after text box request. So I'm just adding it there. And this sums up our script. So you can see that we have automated tweeting function with such a short piece of code. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more videos on python.